All right, good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for being here uh, tonight for our jazz concert. Uh, my name is Jonathan Carruthers. I'm the band director here at Anchor Bay High School. Uh, we have an awesome night of jazz ahead today. Is it this? Oh, there we go. Check, check. All right, we're already live. Great. Uh, great evening of jazz ahead of us. Right now on stage, there's the Anchor Bay High School Jazz Ensemble. Uh, later on will be the uh, middle school jazz bands, as well as the high school jazz lab. You'll see those three bands in addition to our three combos here at Anchor Bay, the red combo and the white combo have been the traditional combos. And this year there's a third one, the blue combo, because red, white, and blue make sense. And with jazz styles, blues is a thing anyways. So we will have the red, white, and blue combo this evening as well. Um, as a heads up with the jazz concert, uh, the rules of concert etiquette are a little bit different. So you are invited and encouraged to clap, to applaud, to cheer throughout the tune. So while the band is playing, you're encouraged to clap for souls as we did for that last song. If you hear something you like, please feel free to do that as well. It's not a traditional concert setting where you have to you know, sit quietly and politely applaud at the end. You are encouraged to clap throughout the song during that, that tune itself. Um, the last one was called Joshua, and we featured some soloists on that. We had Maddie on the piano, we had Olivia on the berry sax, uh, Paul on the tenor sax, and Sam on the drum set. Give it up for those soloists. <laughs> and next up, we'll have two degrees east, three degrees west. Technical difficulties, obviously. Give us one moment, please try a different chord. We'll be back with you shortly. All right, should be good to go. Let's give a round of applause for Carter Graves helping out there. Thanks, Carter.
All right, so again, that was the tune, Two Degrees East. And on that, we featured Logan uh, on the trombone, and we had a solo by Eve on the saxophone. <laughs> this next selection is uh, in a ballad style, and we have a featured soloist throughout the duration of this tune. Please give a warm welcome to Carter Lang to the mic.
Yeah, well, that's incredible. One thing that I will say for all the students here is something that Carter just demonstrated extremely well is not just um, a technical ability, but really a lot of heart and soul put into the music. I think you can really sense that when he's playing, uh, playing the trumpet. You can sense that there's a technical ability he has and also a really heartfelt connection to the music um, that these students at Anchor Bay showcase across the board and that Carter did an incredible job of right then. Uh, one more big round of applause, please, for Carter. <laughs> All right, we got one more tune for you in the first set for the jazz ensemble. Um, and in this ensemble, we do focus on playing a variety of styles within the jazz genre. Jazz is a very broad genre that covers a lot of different styles within it. And three questions we try to address and answer with this music is, can you swing, can you sing, can you groove? And the first two songs that we played, Joshua and Two Degrees East, those were swing tunes. It was done in a swing style. Uh, the one you just heard with the solo by Carter Lang, that was in a ballad style answering that question, can you sing? Can you sing through the instrument? Can you play expressively? And this last tune of this set is called Skyhawk, and it answers that question, can you groove? It describes itself as a funky Latin groove and definitely has a lot of funk and different styles within that, uh, all in the umbrella of a groove-based tune. So Skyhawk, please enjoy.
All right, so that will conclude for now the Jazz Ensemble's first set. They'll be back for a second one shortly. Um, next up will be the Red Combo Performance. They're going to set up over on the side while we get the stage set up for the Middle School Jazz Band. And we'll be back with you shortly for the uh, Red Combo and their portion of the concert. Thank you. All right, so the red combo is almost set up and good to go. And in case you were wondering uh, what a combo is, I mentioned a couple times earlier, as you can probably tell, many jazz bands, right? Much smaller than the normal jazz band, the one we might call a big band or jazz ensemble. A combo is going to be a rhythm section and a couple of horn players. Um, so in this combo, for the red combo, we have on alto, if they can wave as well so you can see who they are, who they are. on alto, Aiden Evans. Got... <laughs> Paul Becker on tenor, Paul Becker. Trumpet, Carter Lang on trumpets. Trombone, McKenna. Piano is Maddie. Bass, Carter. And the drums is Sam Maieski. All right, so with that, I'll pass it off to the Red Combo for their portion of the concert. I'm gonna take it away.
All right, that's a red combo with mercy, mercy, mercy. One more big round of applause, please, for the Anchor Bay red combo. All right, for this point of the concert, we're ready for the next jazz ensemble of the evening. Um, so I'd like to start by introducing the ensemble and their director. This is the Anchor Bay Middle School Band with the director of Mr. Dan Fenton. Please give him a big round of applause. So while the middle school jazz band is taking the stage, getting seated, getting set up, I'll just uh, talk a little bit about what the middle school jazz band is. Uh, and like Mr. Crether said, uh, my, my name is Dan Fenton, I'm the band director. But my primary goal is the band director of Middle School South. But uh, I kind of juggle a lot of different hats. Uh, I'm also the assistant director of the marching band, uh, also the director of the middle school jazz band, director of the high school jazz lab. So kind of all over the place, and I, I gotta say I love my job, I love every bit of it, uh, and working with these kids is such a joy. Uh, the middle school jazz band meets once a week, as opposed to the high school jazz ensemble, which meets uh, every day as a class. Uh, they actually have it within their curriculum. Uh, but these students uh, dedicate their evenings every Tuesday night, sometimes Thursday nights, from 6 to 7.30. Like, what, what a wild thing. You know, a bunch of teenagers being like, I want to spend my Tuesday night playing jazz. What an absolutely awesome thing. Yeah, give that a round of applause. <laughs> now, I'm going to do minimal talking in between pieces. I might just say the piece and if there's any featured students. But uh, it, it, again, it's so awesome to see these students. You know, they're working really hard, and, and it's undeniable that every single one of these students wants to be here. Wow, those stands are so loud. <laughs> Gotta love that. They're the, they're the ones that at least you know your music's not going to fall off, right? So, but we're super proud of these students, of the work that they've done. They've only had about five or six rehearsals. Uh, so we're going to play for you The Judge, which is, which is a shuffle chart. Peter Gunn, uh, which is uh, just a groovy tune, and ending it with James Bond. Uh, I'll say the tunes in between so you know which one in what order. But without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the middle school jazz band.
We're just going to switch around some instruments, but our next tune will be Peter Gunn. Our next tune is going to be James Bond. This one's going to be featuring our soloist, Chloe Bora. We're just going to do a little bit of sound checking on stage, if you don't mind. So talk amongst yourselves for a little bit.
All right, this is James Bond. Let's give one more round of applause for the middle school jazz band. So now at this time, middle school jazz band students, you're just gonna go right back to your seats. Uh, we are going to reset the stage, and I believe Mr. Carruthers, which by the way, can we give a round of applause for Mr. Carruthers? You know, one thing I didn't mention, uh, just uh, now that we gave a shout out to Mr. Carruthers, we have an awesome music team here. And the middle school jazz band is not comprised of just middle school South students. It is also the high school students that are helping out and middle school North students. So Miss Curvin from middle school North is here somewhere. Can we give a round of applause also for Mrs. Curvin? So I believe the next combo that will be featured on your right is gonna be the white combo. Uh, while we're resetting the stage, they're gonna be playing. Uh, so we're gonna uh, let them take it away. But thank you all for your attention. And let's give it up for the white combo. Just a little more set up before they're ready to perform. So it's probably one or two more minutes. And we'll start with the white combo performance next. Thanks.
All right, looking about ready. So I'm going to start introducing the horn section for the white combo. We have on trumpet, Brianne and Luke. Yep. <laughs> on tenor sax, we have Skyler. And on, bar <laughs> and on Barry sax, we have Olivia. The rhythm section for the white combo is comprised of Mac on guitar. We have Kendra on the bass. And Logan on the, on the drum set. Though you, did, yep. <laughs> Though you did see him on trombone earlier and might even see him on drum set again after this. Who knows? It's crazy. All right, this is the white combo. Let's uh, take it away. the white combo. One more big round of applause please for the Anchor Bay white combo. All right, in a moment we'll have the next big band coming up on the stage. Um, so the next one that we have is the High School Jazz Lab. Again directed by Mr. Fenton. And I do want to say for Mr. Fenton it's been a, a pleasure to work with him in the district. He said a moment ago about the colleagues here and I can't echo that enough. Um, that the, the music staff here has been a pleasure to work with, a joy to get to know from Mr. Fenton and Ms. Curvin as well um, at the middle schools. 
So please, one big round of applause for the middle school band directors. All right, so as the High School Jazz Lab is getting up, I'll also explain a little bit about the High School Jazz Lab. So the, there's a little bit of a story behind this, uh, the creation of this band. So this is only the, if I remember correctly, the second year of the Jazz Lab. And the Jazz Lab started because, uh, you know, the, when I, the, year that I, the year after I first got hired, uh, we ended up, you know, like, oh yeah, let's bring middle school jazz back. And then I wanted to invite the high schoolers in, you know, let them join the middle school jazz, show them some mentorship. And if Mr. Sunnyberger's in the, in the room, he was there. You can ask him how terrifying it was. We had a whopping 78 students show up to that first jazz rehearsal. It was insane. As, and, and as amazing as it was, I was sweating bullets. I was like, how am I gonna manage this many kids? Oh my goodness, this is the biggest jazz band on the planet. You know, there's, there's like, how, I, I thought, oh yeah, I printed plenty of copies. No, I did not. Oh, so we ended up taking that 78 member group, we split it in half, and then thus the high school jazz lab was born. Uh, what this is, is that this is an intermediary uh, jazz band for students that either at the high school level want to learn a secondary instrument, or uh, they want to get some extra preparation uh, for their auditions to hopefully one day be a part of the high school jazz ensemble. So we work on uh, slightly more advanced uh, jazz methods. You know, a lot of the students are soloing here. A lot of the students are getting more involved in different styles. Uh, and we'll show you, once they're set, we'll get a, a minute. I'll show you just how many students are learning an instrument that they have never played before, before joining this ensemble. So really exciting for these students. And so uh, can we give one more round of applause for the High School Jazz Lab? We're just waiting on a couple students here. This is also, you know, just, you think this is big. Just imagine how 78 of them would have been. Oh my goodness. Now, uh, as students, if I could ask you this, how many of you are learning a secondary instrument, a new instrument that you learned for the first time for this ensemble? Let's give these students a round of applause. All right, and the pieces we'll be playing for you today uh, I'll, again, I'm going to do minimal talking just so that we can respect your time and we can get through this as quickly as we can. And, uh, you know, no one wants to listen to me talk. We want to listen to your children. Uh, so the pieces we're going to play are, we're going to be starting off with a piece called Boogie Shoes, uh, which is a, you know, is a, a popular tune uh, after that sissy strut. And then we're going to end it with Celebration, which is, you know, the pop tune Celebration. Hope it's a fun time. So without any further ado, the middle, or uh, well, not middle school, oh no, the high school jazz lab.
bands do it, by the way. They're just like, who wants a solo? Thank you. 
one more. Can we give one more round of applause for all of our soloists? All right, we're going to be moving around because some students in this ensemble are actually playing multiple instruments within the ensemble on top of it being secondary. They're just like, why not? Let's just learn all the instruments we possibly can. You know, you have the opportunity to. It's a great opportunity. So while they're switching around, uh, the next tune will be Sissy Strut.
And as we're switching around, can we please give another round of applause for all of our soloists? You know, I hate to single students out, but I gotta say, jazz bassoon is pretty cool. All right, our last tune of the Jazz Lab set is gonna be Celebration. Let's give it up for the High School Jazz Lab Band. And again, I, I think it's amazing what these students do uh, all the time. Uh, these, these students like the Middle School Jazz Band only meet once a week. They actually meet uh, about a half an hour before uh, Middle School Jazz Band meets. So it's like really back to back on Tuesdays. Really cool. Uh, the, their first performance they actually only had three rehearsals. Okay, really incredible. And for this one, they haven't had much more. They have maybe two extra, three extra, something like that. You know, only one. Warren's saying one. Oh, boy. So, but no, they, uh, they're doing some great stuff, and a lot of the work is on their own, so we're really proud of them. We are going to transition to the last combo group, the blue combo. Uh, and while we're transitioning, uh, Mr. Gilbo, do we got 50-50? Oh, snap. Who's excited for 50-50? So I'm gonna hand this off to Mr. Gilbo for our 50-50 raffle. Thank you, Mr. Fenton. One more time for the high school jazz lab. And the middle school jazz band. So I gotta say, as a musician, um, it's absolutely amazing what these kids are doing playing jazz because I, I don't know how either of my kids play jazz because both my wife and I are very square when it comes to music. We can play, but what these kids are doing is absolutely phenomenal. And the fact that the, the jazz lab and the middle school, they meet once a week and they're, they're where they're at, that's, that's, that's great. So again, one more time, give it up for these kids, please. So uh, just a couple quick announcements. Um, most of this is on the back of your flyers, but January 9th, next Tuesday, is Taste Fest here at the high school from 6 to 8. It is $15 for adults, $10 for students, seniors, and military, $5 for fi uh, children 5 and under. 
We've got about 20 restaurants, you get to sample some of the good food, but most importantly, you get to listen to the high school and middle school students that are pr participating in solo ensemble uh, practice their pieces in front of you. So that'll be from six to eight in the commons here at the high school. January 20th is MSBOA's high school chamber and ensemble. February 3rd is the actual high school solo and ensemble. So what those kids are gonna be practicing at Taste Fest, they'll actually get to perform in front of judges, they'll get in front of an adjudicator, they'll get judged. And then the high school jazz band will be traveling up to Central Michigan University on February 8th and 9th for the 51st, that's 5-1, uh, CMU Jazz Weekend. There's about 1,200 musicians that are there. They compete against the other high school, middle school jazz bands. They've done quite well over the years. Um, but there's more information and as well as a calendar and anything that you need to know that's going on with the Anchor Bay Music Program, just go out to the website, anchorbaybands.org, look for us on Facebook with the Anchor Bay Band Boosters or Anchor Bay Bands. So, Alec, can we get some lights in there? Tonight's 50-50 is for $208, thank you very much. All right, I promise I can see the number this time. Zero eight, one, two, those stands are loud, sorry. Zero eight, one, two, four, nine. Zero eight, one, two, four, nine. Two hundred and eight dollars. Anybody? All right. I'll meet you down on the side. Thank you everybody, enjoy the rest of the music. It looks like the blue combo is ready to go, so I'll introduce them while we're finishing up uh, the setup for the Jazz Ensemble's final set. Uh, for the blue combo, we have in the horn section, uh, on trombone, Aiden. <laughs> on saxophone, we have Eva. <laughs> and then trumpet, we've got Ava and Zach. For the rhythm section, we have on piano, Maddie. <laughs> Mac on guitar. <laughs> Carter on bass. <laughs> and Sal on the drum set. <laughs> now, they'll perform their last two, and you may have noticed for these combos, there is a pretty set formula you might pick up on in that there's some music played at the beginning, that's the melody or called the head of the tune. In the middle, they have a number of solos that may vary depending on the tune. And at the end, they come back to that original melody. So try to notice as you pick up on jazz music, if you're unfamiliar with it, you might pick up on that formula of the structure. A melody, some solos in the middle, and again, that melody at the end. Go ahead, take it away, blue combo.
that was the blue combo with blue bossa. Very fitting for that group. Warm a big round of applause, please, for the Anchor Bay blue combo. We'll have a quick transition to get the rest of the jazz ensemble back up on stage and conclude with their final sets. Thank you. Got the jazz ensemble back up on stage. The first tune of their second set is called Hunting Wabbits. A uh, bit of a silly name for a piece, and that is on purpose. The composer Gordon Goodwin had in his mind when he wrote this piece, he was uh, imagining the Bugs Bunny cartoons. So as you listen to this piece, you can probably imagine the kind of antics they get into in that kind of cartoon. It starts off with that style, goes to a typical swing style in the middle, and again finishes with that kind of cartoonish antic style. And uh, please enjoy Hunting Wabbits. <laughs> Thank 
Hopefully on that one you can imagine all the antics of the Bugs Bunny cartoon uh, that he included in that composition. The soloists we had, sure we got them, we had uh, Aiden, we had Logan, we had, oh, yep, Zach, and yeah, Sam on the vibes. Give it up for the soloists, please. Uh, next up we have a swing tune called Janine. Thank you. 
All right, so the next tune we have, uh, it's gonna be another ballad. So the first half we had uh, the ballad Rachel featuring Carter on trumpet. Uh, for this ballad, it's called Chelsea Bridge and we're featuring Aiden on the saxophone. Please give Aiden a warm welcome to the mic. Thank you. 
Oh, one more big round of applause, please, for Aiden Evans on the saxophone. Another great example, just like for Carter earlier, of what the students here do really well, of being technical players, having great ability, and also a lot of heart and feeling for the music. Really great demonstration from Aiden on that solo. Uh, before we do our last piece, a couple quick but important thank yous. Uh, first, for all the parents that have been involved with the program, uh, the booster parents, and specifically the executive board led by Tom Braun. Um, they have been an incredible asset and really helpful in uh, so many different ways with making the different events happen. So please, a big round of applause for our parents and booster e-board. Uh, another important thank you is the administration here at Anchor Bay High School, uh, led by Principal Mr. Mike McKenzie. Uh, they've been very, very helpful in assisting with these events, helping make sure we have access to what we need for the events. So I really appreciate the administrative support, again, led by Principal Mr. Mike McKenzie. Please, bigger round of applause for the uh, admin team. Uh, also, a big thank you for the tech crew. Alec Belfry has been um, great with setting up you know, different lighting, sound that we need for the concerts, and helping make sure that that side of the logistics go really smoothly. So please, a big round of applause for Alec and the auditorium team. And last but not least, uh, this group or this program would be very lacking without the students that we have on stage. Uh, they have been incredibly uh, receptive, great to work with, really welcoming uh, in a transition for myself being new to the school. They've been really mature, welcoming, friendly, and very helpful with different things. New events, like for me, the first uh, Jazzathon, as I believe Mr. Fenton has, has dubbed it. Uh, really helpful with those logistics and making sure that things are taken care of and, and go smoothly. Please a big round of applause for all the students. And with that, let's get to our last tune. In the set, we had a swing tune, we had a ballad, so if you're keeping score at home, you know the next tune's probably a groove of some kind. Uh, it's called Perdido, it has a Latin style, and also goes into a swing as well. It's kind of a two for one with a Latin and swing style.
Let's give one more big round of applause overall for Jazz Ensemble, Jazz Lab, Middle School Jazz Band, and the Jazz Combos. A shout out everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on this evening of jazz. Have a great night and drive safely home. See you next time.